know, we're not doing nearly enough, and I think that's obvious to any objective observer. And that needs to change. To the governor's credit, he's got this working group to begin to address this more proactively. We've got to pick up on that work and get much more aggressive in terms of addressing uh, the issue, particularly as it relates to not just dead trees, but brush uh, removal and the like. I'd rather see our National Guard working on those kinds of emergencies than being on the border. But the next governor needs to not only prepare for wildfires and more droughts, which are the new norm, the next governor needs to prepare for the next one, two, three major earthquakes. This is something that uh, we're reacting to, and frankly, I think, and it's not an indictment, uh, but we uh, should have been uh, a little bit more proactive in terms of addressing in the past. We need a lot better management. Uh, we, need, we, need, uh, we need to uh, thin the forest more. Uh, we, need to, uh, we need to allow more logging than we are. Uh, you know, logging is a good thing. Uh, the idea that we're, we're hindering logging uh, when it's a, a wonderful business, by the way, and can contribute to economic growth and jobs and, you know, reducing the wage gap and the inequality gap, I think that would be a wonderful thing. Uh, the other issue is uh, fire breaks, uh, building roads into the forest to, you know, be able to get equipment back there to, to better manage fire suppression. Uh, I think that's not been done very much. Uh, I, I think we have to have better equipment. Um, frankly, we are spending a lot of money on Cal Fire. If you go, go to a website called Transparent California and you'll see, uh, you know, our, our salaries and our benefits for a lot of fire workers are border on the uh, uh, excessive. Mm -hmm.